Hi YouTube, I'm Jack, a junior doctor working in London. If you have an online surgical or medical interview, the last thing you need is for your internet to cut out or for the interviewers not to be able to hear you. So in this video, I'm going to show you my eight steps to setting up your computer for an online interview. I'll show you how to go from something like this to something like this, which is a bit better. Step one, or the most important step, is to upgrade your broadband speed even just for a month for the interview. This is really important because your interviewers could be using public Wi-Fi and the last thing you need is for your internet to cut out in the middle of your interview. The other thing to do is to get an ethernet cable so you have a wired connection for your internet to your laptop. These usually come free with the wireless router, if not they're super cheap on the internet and they really do boost the speed of your connection. Bear in mind that you might need to get an adapter if you have a Mac like this Thunderbolt adapter. Step two is to find a quiet room where you can have your interview. For this you need a quiet room where you can close the door and put a sign up to warn your flatmates and pets to stay away for the interview. Step three is the lighting. So a common mistake is to have the source of light directly behind you going into the camera. What you want to do is to find a source of natural light, such as coming from a window, and position yourself so that you are facing the window. You'll probably find you can see me clearer now that the light is facing towards me rather than coming from behind. Step four is background. You want to have something neutral without anything embarrassing or incriminating. That's a bit better. Step five is the height of the laptop. Usually when you set up your laptop camera, it's pointing directly upwards, so giving the interviewers a really good view of your nostrils. To solve this, increase the height of the laptop so that the camera's about eye level. I do this by stacking it on some books uh, or some boxes, or my personal favorite, Catan. Step six is audio. So if you use the built-in microphone for your laptop, it can pick up a lot of the background noise. The reason for this is that microphones work a lot better the closer they are to your mouth. I recommend plugging in some earphones. Also, they come with the built-in microphone. These are the earphones that came with my phone. I'll plug them in and you can tell the difference in the sound quality. So this is how it sounds using the earphones. You should be able to tell my voice is a bit clearer. The added benefit is that you can also hear the interviewers better. Step seven is delivering to the camera. When you talk to people in real life, you make eye contact with them. And the equivalent for an online interview is looking directly at the camera when you answer questions. When interviewers ask you questions, you'd usually look at them on the screen. But if I then try and deliver something on the screen like this, it looks like I'm looking down. However, if I look at the camera when I'm giving my answer, that looks a lot better. And finally, step eight is to make sure you do a test run of your software before you do the interview itself. Most interviews run on Microsoft Teams or Zoom, so you need to make sure that your computer can cope with the system requirements. And a good way to test this is to get a friend to do a practice call with you, and then you can see that your software is working. I hope I've convinced you that it's cheap and easy to set up your computer like this for interview, which is a big improvement on a setup like this, which most people end up using. Good luck for interviews and I'll see you next time.